Guys, we're doing the impossible today. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it, so you can alert on what we're doing here. All right, so what are we doing here today, guys? <laughs> we have some impossible burger patties going on the Ninja Foodie XL grill today. All right, so I'm a little skeptical. All right, I have been putting this video off year maybe i think that's the first time i actually bought some of this stuff so i've i've bought these hamburger patties in the past and just left them in the fridge let them expire toss them okay probably four or five times over the last year not proud of it i hate wasting food hate wasting money but i just couldn't get myself to do it that's all changing today. We're going to get these bad boys on the foodie grill, okay? I don't know about this. I think plants trying to be like meat is like meat trying to be like plants. It just don't make sense. But the ingredients, uh, soy protein, coconut oil, sunflower oil, natural flavors. So like beef flavors, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see here, potato protein, methyl cellulose, yeast extract, dextrose food starch modified, soy something or other. <laughs> I, I can't read half this stuff, so it's a lot of soy protein, so let's go with that, all right? So we're gonna do, there's two patties here. One we're gonna leave plain, and one we're gonna put a little pepper jack cheese on, make a little cheese burger, okay? You know, I, um, we're, we're, we're struggling through this one together, guys. So I need CJ's crew to come through and, you know, just everybody take a second. Hit that like button for motivation. All right, I'll wait for you. Don't take much time. Like button. Thank you. All right, let's continue on. We're going to do this on grill setting high. I'm going to go 10 minutes. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, you know, not meat, so you don't have to worry about undercooking, overcooking. So we're gonna do 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> All right, come on over to the foodie grill station. Let's start this debacle. I mean, you make these burgers. <laughs> come on back. All right, let's turn our foodie grill on. We're gonna do grill setting high, 10 minutes. Hit start, let it come up to temperature. Let's open our burgers. Okay, here are our burgers. They actually have a beefy kind of smell to them. So, there's that. We're gonna season them just with a little Uncle Steve shake, the original. Just a, just a nice normal flavor in there. We'll season these, the top part right now. And then uh, when we get them on the grill, we'll season the other side. I am not gonna spray down the grates with oil or anything. If you look at the ingredients there's sunflower oil and coconut oil but i don't know that we really need to add more oil for like the grill grate or anything like that all right looking at the packaging again it says fully cooked when the interior is 160 fahrenheit so we're gonna cook it to 160 fahrenheit got my little instant read thermometer here so we can make sure we're doing it right and it says perishable keep refrigerated or frozen again that's why i've had to toss so many of these in the past i'll, I'll buy one and then not eat it Okay, team, let's get these burgers on. All right. Yeah, we got some good sizzle on there. Let's give them a little dusting of uh, Uncle Steve's on the other side. Okay. Let's shut it down. We're gonna check it out five minutes, probably flip them, and then uh, 10 minutes we'll be home free. All right, we're about three minutes in on this cook, and I'm gonna admit something. It actually smells pretty good in here. It could be contributed to Uncle Steve's shake on those burgers, but you know, you never know. It smells like I'm cooking some burgers, all right? So hey, take it for what it's worth. It might be a good sign. All right. all right, we're gonna give it the old flippy flip. All right. Ok, 
Okay, so it it looks like burgers, I guess. Kind of fibrous looking, but you know. All right. Okay, we're only seven minutes in. I did a little temp check on these, and they're well over the 160. Getting a little cheese on that one. It's gonna try to toast my buns in here too. We're just gonna go another minute. Get these buns toasty, that cheese melted. Just another 30 seconds a minute, no big deal. Okay, another minute or so has passed. Whoa, hot buns, hot buns. Let's get these bad boys off. We're gonna be putting the cheesy one on, the, on this one. Get the burger off, get it on there. Get our plain one off, get it on there. Cap it, cap the other one. There we go. Tim, we're done. Here's my take on how fast it cooks. When I tempt it out at seven minutes, um, they were both well over. Like one was 185, one was 190, okay? So my thought on that is one, when you flip it, check that temp right then, and you probably only need another minute or so after that, okay? Or maybe even flip it a little sooner. Again, first time I'm cooking these Impossible Burgers. The first one we're gonna try here is the, just the plain. We're gonna get the flavor of it. hot trying to be able to articulate the flavor it's it's about as close to beef as you can get all right the seasoning we put on there uncle steve shake i mean i'm sure that helped out a little bit with the flavor but it's not bad all right it's not as uh texture is not the same as beef but pretty damn close maybe a little mealy grainy you know Good nonetheless, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Now we got one with a little bit more flavor on here. Got the pepper jack one. Give the old, the old taste test. Yeah, pepper jack's giving it tons of flavor. I mean, it just is what it is. But I'm telling you, look, between you and me, don't, hey, don't share this with anybody. I'm gonna eat these. This is, a, this is a good lunch. Might even buy them again. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, huh? All right. Body built by meat. Enjoyed a plant-based burger. All right. So you guys from uh, the Impossible, <laughs> the Impossible Company, I'm gonna try more of your guys' stuff. I, I know you got uh, like a sausage, and I've seen some like a hot dogs. And I've seen other stuff. I'm gonna put you guys to the test. All right. So y'all stay tuned on that one. <laughs> That's insane. All right, guys, that's it for this one. If you want to get yourself one of these Ninja Foodie Grills or any Ninja products, links down below. I'm a Ninja affiliate, and there are big things coming on the way for Ninja, so make sure you stick around and stay tuned for that, okay? Just trust me that there's some big things coming, okay? Knives, cutting boards, merch, all that good stuff. Links are all down below, okay? If you want to become part of CJ's crew for real here on YouTube, hit that join button right next to that subscribe button. Little, little tears in there, little behind the scenes stuff. Get your name on the end scroll. Listen, if I could try this stuff, so can you. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful week until the next one. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Cheers.